I roughed this blade out a couple of weeks ago. I have some hornstone, and, and one of my uh, subscribers asked me if I would uh, do a video on halving it. Uh, I got deer antler, cut it on bandsaw, placed it over some glue, and got it drying. I don't know how to pause my video. I have that movie channel where you can add on splice on. I can't get it to work anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this in stages. I have not pressure plate this. I'm not strong enough to pressure plate. But once I get it hafted, I am gonna shape it and take all the deltas off and shape it up. But I figured I'd do that at last. So what I'm gonna do right now is I've got some sinew. I'm gonna make cordage out of sinew. And I'm gonna half it with real sinew. And this is the way I do it. I take two pieces of sinew and I start twisting it away from me. And I pull it over and I twist it, bring it to me, bring it to me, and I'm twisting away every time. Yeah. Right now, let's get it up here a little bit more. I'm twisting this way. In other words, my fingers are turning it away from me. I'm spinning just like this. And then I bring it to me and I spin that one that way, and I bring it over the top. I keep spinning them and bringing them over the top. And this is a pretty long process. Uh, I don't think you will sit and watch it to the end. So I'm going to do it a little ways, probably about 10 minutes. And uh, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to splice it on my movie channel. I got, if I can't do it, I just show a little short video. So it might be five minutes, 10 minutes of me putting the, the handle on the knife and having it, but they asked me to do it. And since they're a subscriber, I told them I would. And this is a piece of hornstone. You can, go, you can go back about three or four weeks ago and see me making the blade. Uh, when I put the title on this one, I'll put the title on it when I made the blade, that way you can go back and watch it. But uh, anyway, I'm just twisting this way and pulling it to me, twisting this way and pulling it to me. And what it's doing is making a pretty cord and this cord will not unravel. It's just a beautiful cord and will not unravel. So I'm gonna put this in the water and let it soak. And I'm going to come back and finish it when uh, the video's not on because I showed you what I did and I showed you how I did it. And uh, I'm not going to sit there and do this for 20, 30 minutes and be sitting there watching me do the same thing over and over and over and over and over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple pieces of material here. I'm going to start napping them to add to my <coughs> blind auction. <coughs> I'm calling this a blind auction. I showed you half of what's going to be in it. I'm going to add so much more, it's unbelievable. May the 10th, at 8 o'clock, I said, I said 8, I think 9. We, we'll just push it, change it to 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, May the 10th, 8 o'clock. The last bid that comes in, it's the highest bid, gets it. You might bid $200. If you're the highest bid, you get it. I have a reserve on it for $50. And what you get with that reserve is 100 inches of preform. So that's a dollar an inch and take 18, you say 20, that's 20 for shipping. So it's not, not much over a dollar an inch. That's a pretty good deal. But what you don't understand, I've been adding to it every day. I might even put this knife in there. I might even put some finished arrowheads in there. But it's going to be a humdinger. I mean, a super duper califragilistic espialidocious prize. It's going to be some box of rocks. So my suggestion is you start bidding. <coughs> you might want to say, well, I'm going to bid. $160, because I don't know how much he's putting in it, and I don't know if it's going to be worth it, and I'm going to throw my money away. That's the chance you'll have to take. If you bid that, and you get it, 
You're going to come out smelling like a rose. You're going to be better than a used car salesman. It's going to be the deal of the century you just made. You're not going to believe the stuff's going to be in this box. And that's all I'm saying about that. So here goes some pieces I'm making right now that are going to go in this box. I'm get this old limestone off this Georgetown shirt. I hate limestone. We built up on that stuff. in the base. This is a real thin plate for Georgetown. I'm going to do this side one more time. I'm going to turn it over. Let you see how thin it is. Okay, that's how thin the base is. Now, this thing is crooked. We gotta get it straightened out. If we was in a bowling alley, and we threw this down there at the pins, it could go out the back door, go around the bowling alley twice, and come in through the bathroom and be a strike. That's how crooked it is. Look at that pretty piece come off there. Not having that much luck here because I'm hitting this limestone. I just about got rid of this limestone. We'll be getting some good plates off right here in just a minute. Here we go. If you knew what I knew, you wouldn't be afraid to bid up there. I'm telling you, up there. Up, up, up there. I'm going to tell you something. Just getting a pre form this thing from the age of 70 year old man ought to be worth a plug nickel. Somebody ought to give me a plug nickel for that. They cut me cut me off a big old chunk. A brown mule chewing tobacco. They work any of that. Be worth that much of chewing tobacco. Oh, I remember them chewing the back of day. Ooh, I love that chewing the back. Holy smoke. I started chewing when I was about 10 years old. 
Never quit until I was 70s. 74, I think. I'll be 77 the 10th of May. Probably around 74 when I quit. And you know why I quit? I loved it so much. Cost too much. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't afford it, man. That was pleasure. That wasn't a necessity. Chewing tobacco was just absolute pleasure to me. I loved it. When it comes to buying milk and groceries, that's a necessity. I had to put it down. And this stuff just got out of sight. <coughs> My son asked me <coughs> when I quit. He was chewing too. He said, Daddy, why you quit me? Are you going to get cancer? And I said, No. Never thought about that. He said, I can't afford it. He said, you can't afford it. And I said, nope. Costs too much. The other things I need is more important than that. He said, okay. That's all he said. About two years after I quit, I was at his house. His wife said something, said, you tell your daddy to quit chewing the biker? He said, no, I ain't thought about it. See, I've been, been off for about eight months now. And I said, really? He said, yep. And he said, before you say anything, I can't afford it. <laughs> he said, it got too crazy expensive. I said, that's right. <laughs> Trying to get a needle point on this tip. I'm gonna end up breaking it for a little bit. Trying to get it on there. Thank goodness, I haven't broken it so far. It's not over with. There we go. Going in the pile. <clears throat> be something to be bet on. Here's another to be in the bed. I probably have deer antlers in there. Whoa, I broke that one. You got to think about what I'm putting in there. I wouldn't pay no attention to what I'm doing. It still makes a good short one. I might have deer antlers in there. I might have some turkey feet in there. I might even put some rooster fries in there. And y'all know what rooster fries are. Might get some of them. If you don't know, you ain't missed out on anything. Trust me. You probably wouldn't want them in there anyway. It's just gonna be a fun deal. I don't think nobody's ever done this before. I just thought of it. If you're not satisfied, I will refund your money. You 
Can you read some of the product? Probably gonna cost you a little bit of shipping to refund all this stuff. But we'll do it. I added $18 shipping on that $150 reserve bill, but I'm paying the shipping on everything over it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be over. I'm promising you. This is May the 18th. I mean May the 10th, I'm sorry. We got a doctor appointment on the 18th. May the 10th. May the 10th, not the 18th. 10th. May the 10th. It's gonna be little, it just broke off. I don't know why I had so much trouble with this from breaking off. There's gonna be a little bird point <coughs> in there. I just couldn't get it to, to do right for some reason. Okay, we're gonna make this with a, uh, well, I see why, foot. Once they start getting a ring around them like that, it's hard for them to see it, see it don't have that. That's when I replace them. Never even looked up the nose. That little groove will catch in there and break it off. Now, right now I'm trying to move the limestone. Not worried about length or width or anything. Worried about getting this white stuff off here. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna look at this one. It's razor right thin all the way around it, except right through there. I'm gonna come right around here and start thinning. <laughs> Did pretty good. I'm up here and do the same thing. Did pretty good.
Take another row off on this side. I think I'm jinxing myself. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> a long time since I made, broke two points in a row like that. They can pray for. That ain't like me. Let's see if I can find me another piece. We'll, we'll do one more and we'll call it quick. Guess what? I don't see nothing. Here we go. Big old thick piece right here. Look at here. And it would help if I put my glasses on, doggone it. Like, no wonder I ain't. I'm having cataract surgery Thursday. And I can't see, no wonder. Look. Had my glasses stuck up on my head. We're getting somewhere. Got me some glasses on. Now I can see my boo boo. We're gonna knock this one out in no time. It's gonna be the last one. Look at how pretty it come out. Look at that. That's what happens when you got glasses on. Do a good plate right there, right there, right there, right there. Now come back over here and come down like this. Come down and look. Pop it in right there. Go down like that. That's what I'm trying to get off. Boy, it knocks a great flake out of there. Look at that. Now I got a square edge. I need me a little bitty popper for a square edge.
Well, it shows a lot of difference when you get your act together, get the right tools, and get your glasses on so you can see what you're doing. Okay, there we go. Another one added to the bucket. Right, we're gonna stop this video.